Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 Battle Series. We are here back again. It is Wednesday, and we are playing this Dialga Kyogre team. Now, we've played a couple of matches this week already, and we've played this team all last week. It's been great fun so far. The last couple of days, we've only been able to manage one game per day because they've taken so long. So hopefully, we can squeeze two games in today. Be a lot of fun, as always. But um, I hope you've been enjoying the episode so far with this team. And like I keep saying... Hopefully we can bring the Bronzong and the Zergatry a bit more. Now we've brought the Bronzong in the last couple of games. It's done a lot of work and it's been really good to see. Um, but Zergatry is the one missing out. So hopefully we can bring it a bit more as we go into the latter part of this week before we end up with this team. Without further ado though, let's hop on to the ladder. As always, if you enjoy this sort of content, please make sure to leave a like on this video. It really does help the channel and the video itself. And make sure you do subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the daily battle series that we do have coming out, as well as our guides and all of our other content. So, across my version two, can we finally get you on this episode? Which would be really good. So yeah and all honesty though it's been an absolutely incredible core to play around with i've really like really enjoyed it it's been um, a lot of fun and i think it's been really successful as well it's had a really good run on the channel we've had a lot of wins and our win rate is like crazy so what did we lose two last week played um, like 10 10 matches 11 matches so 11 like 9 2 um so we're like 11 2 at the minute with this team which is pretty good pretty good um and hopefully it can just continue. And every time I say this, it feels like we're jinxing ourselves. But um, it's going to be really nice to finish up with this week. And it's been a nice core to play. And it's definitely one I would consider playing around with and taking to a tournament. Because it's just so solid. Like, really solid. Um, if we can't find an opponent as well, by the way, guys, I'll, uh, I'll just cut to when we do find one. And like magic, there we go, we got Springs VGC, 1760 rated player, so a really high rated opponent, and we'll get straight into team. So our first opponent today, playing a team of Sogaleo, Kyogre, Cartana, Toxicroak, Capococo, and Hydreigon. So Hydreigon, very nice to see that Pokemon making its appearance back into this format. One of my favourite dragons, and uh, has done so well in previous formats. It does suffer a little bit when it's up against Xerneas, but against this sort of team that we're playing, it probably does and has a really nice time. So uh, we're going to find it very difficult to deal with it, because we've not got too much to hit it very super effectively, like at all. Um, so dealing with it is going to be extremely difficult. I feel like we're going to be struggling against it right from the get-go, honestly. Um, what can we do? So, Trick Room here for us is going to be very good. Uh, Sogaleo could have Trick Room, so we need to be careful of that. The Toxic Rock is going to be another thing that we need to watch out for and be very careful of for. Um, I'm going to bring Incineroar. And I'm going to bring... I definitely need Incineroar for the Intimidate support. It's got, got to be a little bit careful against a lot of this, this team. I think maybe our best option in this kind of against this sort of team is to kind of just use brute force and bring Zerkatry and Moongus to kind of try and get through the, the best part of this team. Use Dialga to get a trick room set up and go from there. I really feel like my opponent brings the, the Hydreigon. It makes a lot of sense against what we've got. We've got no fairy type attack in our team. We've got no dragon type attack in our team. We've got no ice type attack we've got no fighting we've got no way to hit it super effectively so our only real way to deal with this is a, the the hydreigon is is real brute force now we could have went down the kyogre route but then you look at the team it's got cartana they got toxicroak they're really set up well against that that pokemon so going down that brute force route is not going to be the best way to go i don't feel um so it does make it a little bit more difficult um, we are going to see the Toxic Rock Kyogre come out for my opponent. Now we've got a couple of options here. We can trade fake outs. It's a little bit dangerous because um, we could lose Incineroar. And Incineroar is quite important for us later in this game. There's also the aspect of Faint that we could see Faint Hydra um, Vortex or Faint Water Spout into the, the Dialga, which wouldn't be too far fetched. I think to be safe, I'm going to bring in a Moongus and I'm just going to I'm just going to protect. I don't see. 
faint coming out this turn with us having fake out pressure on the field. I think it's more likely we see fake out than anything else. So we'll bring in Amoongus, at least with Amoongus the next turn we'll be able to guarantee our Trick Room up as well. And then we'll protect that Alga, just make sure that we're not taking too much unnecessary damage this first turn. There's a fake out from the Toxicroak into Dialga. We could have just traded fake outs this turn, but decided not to. Um, and thinking more about next turn when the Toxicroak's able to potentially fire off one of those low kicks and we want to be able to rage part of that away and, um, and set our Trick Room up and kind of start Again, a little bit of momentum in this match. Um, another water spout from the Kyogre will probably just proc the berry on Amoongus. Um, and if we see a poison jab there, which may be likely to, um, Amoongus will be in a nice position this next turn. As you see there, another water spout. Yeah, and there's the berry proc. And we'll pull in whatever attack from this Toxic Croc. It's probably going to go for a low kick, I would imagine. Um, poison jab, yeah, making sense because knowing about the rage powder here and uh, doing some nice damage, but we are able to get this trick room up, um, and that does put us in a decent position going into this next turn where we can spore the toxic crawl and um, we can thunder the Kyogre just to get some decent damage onto that. We've got to be a bit aware of what my opponent has in the back potentially to bring in, um, but there's nothing really that I'm too concerned about coming in like the high dragon comes in then we can put it to sleep the next turn uh, we're, we're sitting in a decent position going into this one so Tapu Goku going to come in now get the electric train up that's just boosting our ability to um you see this is the thing now <laughs> now that's a nice player to cover the spore there and it was one thing that we just didn't really consider too much of there so a nice play from my opponent good the thunder low kick now going to come out into Dialga Probably be enough to pick up the knockout. Ooh, not quite enough, just pocking that berry. So that defense EV is really coming in handy for us here. Um, if you need a reminder of what the builds are on this specific team, you can go down into the comment section below and uh, in the description, sorry, and, and check those out there. I think this is probably a good time to get our Zerka tree in on the field. So I'm gonna do that for Amoongus. Um, and I'm going to, I'm gonna earth power the type of Coco. Because the Toxic Croc cannot knock out the Dialga this turn, but we can knock out the, the Tapu Koko. If it targets down Dialga again, then that does mean that we, um... Okay, Toxic Croc switching out, that's fine. Sogaleo coming in, that's also not too bad. And Coco protected. So we'll be able to get the Coco the next turn and Tail Glow. My opponent hasn't got any good switch in other than the Kyogre for that slot, and we've still got two turns of Trick Room, so we've got at least this turn to get the Tail Glow up, and um, yeah. <sighs> we should get the, 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 the Core Core here. Maybe we see the Toxic Core come back in with that Salt Vest, it'll be able to soak up the, the Earth Power pretty nicely, uh, whereas Core Core didn't want to take it. Yeah, it's switching out. Kyogre coming in, maybe. Toxic Rock, yeah, like we thought. And then it's got the fake out support going into the next turn. So Galeo just gonna protect here, which is fine. Um, but we'll be able to get this tail glow off with Zerka Tree. Um, we can get a Moongus back on the field this next turn if we would like to. Um, and then you still gotta be a bit wary about this Ogaleo. Oh, take the Toxic Rock down to a focus sash revealed. That's an interesting item on it. Not the assault vest, the rain does stop as well, preventing any sort of um so I think what we could potentially do here is we want to preserve Dialga as best we can. Um, I'm going to actually just protect... Oh, this is where Kyogre comes back in, I think. I kind of want to double up into the, the Sogaleo slot here with a Thunderbolt, then a Thunder. But I don't want to leave the Toxic Rock unchecked, but it definitely goes for a Fake Out. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. I think what I'm going to do is Thunderbolt the Sogaleo, and I'm going to I'm going to switch Incineroar into Dialga. So I've got Fake Out of my own this next turn, and that means if the Kyogre comes back in, I can really disrupt that slot. And we could see the double up into Zerkatry, but it does leave the Dialga open to yeah. There's the 
there, and I'm going to see Sensei'll strike. Yeah, it's going to be into the Zerkatry slot. I'm hoping that this is just, if this is life orb, it's just enough to pick up the, um... Ooh, it's into Incineroar. Huh, that's interesting. I mentioned it's back to normal. Okay. It's not likely that the Toxicroc's got, um... Protect here. So what I'm going to do, I think, is go for the Toxicroc. I think the Toxicroc... Does the Toxicroc... I think you just sack everything at this point, really. I really do. I think you sack most things. Um, so what could I do to alleviate this? I need to attack the Sogaleo for sure. Um, and I'm going to U-turn out on the Toxicroc. I don't think a double up takes down circuitry. Especially once we've intimidated the Toxicroc. So I'm gonna go and protect, yeah. I think you just like sack this Pokemon this turn. Yeah, there's a poison jab. It'll be into the circuitry for sure, yeah. No poison, which is nice. And we can bring back in Dialga. Now that um no, I think we bring in Amoongus. Or do we bring in Dialga? Hmm. Because Kyogre comes back in now. For sure. Kind of means for going Zerkatry though. And then going for the... Hmm. Sacking Zerkatry. That's the one thing I'm not really keen on doing. Um, but at least we haven't got the Hydreigon to think about here. So, it's what do we bring in? Mm. Kyogre comes in. I need Water Spout. Yeah, I think we need to bring in Dialga. Maybe protect it. Maybe Sack Zerkatry. Or we'll switch in a Moongus. So we can get the Trick Room up the next turn. Because now the Toxicroc's gone, like everything on our team is. Yeah. Okay, so the Electric Trend disappearing. Kyogre's definitely coming in, I think. And I think it's definitely Scarfed. Yeah. Yeah, we, we sack Zerkatry here. Um, and then bring in Incineroar. Uh, yeah, I think that's the only thing we can do is, yeah, Thunderbolt. I'm going to Thunderbolt the um, Sogaleo though, and I'm just going to protect Dialga. I don't think, there's no way we get the Thunderbolt off. Unless you double into the Dialga for some reason, but I, I just don't see that. Yeah, the water spout, it just makes way more sense to do that. Yeah, and even now it's still really difficult for us to do anything because the superpower comes out. But it's Sunseal Strike every time. I wonder if it's not got superpower. Yeah, I don't think it's got superpower. Really don't. Um, yeah, so we're getting Cinero in. We can't. If it's not got superpower, then it can't deal with. Like, we can. We can easily close this game up. Um. It's, it makes a lot of sense if you've got if you've got superpower you go for it here um, but the Sunseal Strike it's just not going to be enough to do to damage the Dialga and the Incineroar we could be wrong, we could see it here right now nah, <laughs> Cause has got it he's just predicting different things to come in on different slots oh, Dialga hangs on skin of its teeth oh my gosh <sighs> okay, that's huge for us that is really huge for us. Um, now, the Sogaleo is under a lot of pressure. So is the Kyogre. Um, I think the Kyogre switches out to Coco, if I'm honest. Um, but I'm going to knock off the Sogaleo and I'm going to Thunder the Kyogre. My opponent knows we've got Thunder as well. can't believe the survival there. That is huge. Knock off should do good damage and get rid of something. What we see. And, uh, oh, it's a Z move. The Sogaleo's got the Z move. That's pretty big. 
the thunder's nice damage. Water spout gonna come out. Take down the Dialga. Probably take down Incineroar. Ugh. Should proc a berry. I think we're just on verge of berry. So we might be able to take. If it's a Z move though, we we are not taking the Z move. If it's a, the Phytinium Z, we're not taking it. Oh, it's Trick Room. Nice, nice. Okay, that's cool. It's a really nice option there with the Sogaleo. Sometimes the C carry, protect Y guard, protect Trick Room makes a lot of sense though. And um, that Kyogre are in a bit of a tricky spot though because um, the Water Spout's just not doing enough damage at this point. Um, even though there is a superpower there from the Sogaleo. Um, the Among Us is still putting on a lot of pressure on, on the majority of the field and you're going to have to see really um, the Tapu Koko come in here for the Kyogre um, I would imagine that would be the best thing to do uh, to, to prevent any sleep spam yeah I wonder if we see the Z move now Here it is. Oh, it's a Stelium Z. Nice. Okay, that's cool. I mean, Amoongus probably takes this. It's minus one. Nah, just massive props. Really great team. Yeah, that's putting Amoongus right out of reach, really. Uh, Grass not going to knock, not do, do near enough. And Kyogre is able to going to be able to come in right now and and just clean up both Pokemon. Unfortunately. Um, so we can't do too much about it, especially with the rain up. Uh, when does the rain finish? Actually, it ends now. So yeah, there's no chance. We needed the rain to end um, the turn after Kyogre came in, but it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Um, when we can rage powder, I mean. But Amoongus, I don't even think takes a thunderbolt from this range. Sogaleo just too strong. And Thunder. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. That pretty much locks it up for my opponent. You're going to superpower. Do enough to the Incineroar. But I mean, even at this point, we've got no way to come back. So, um, we were so worried about the Hydreigon at the start of the match. And for good reason as well. Like, we don't have a way to deal with Hydreigon. But, um,. The rest of the team, the team that my opponent's brought, has done super well. Sogaleo is so bulky as well, um, making it very difficult for us to, to maneuver around. And then our Trick Room pull at the end there, really kind of pulling it back in for them. So, Kyogre going to come back in now, full force with this, this Tapu Koko. Get the rain up. Perfectly timed, and uh, we will smash that forfeit button. Um, but very good game to my opponent, and like I say, Really nice team composition. Uh, really like it. Sogaleo, Kyogre, one of my favorite like combinations in the restricted format uh, that we've had since the Sun series. And it's such a nice team to see built around that restricted pair. So very good game to my opponent. Pleasure to play and we'll move on to our next game, guys. Really doesn't take too long to find an opponent. But Springs VGC, doing all the good stuff there. Right. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Right, there we go. On to the next one. Like I say, hopefully it doesn't take too long. If it does, we'll cut to it and uh, come back to it. The next opponent playing from Japan. 1450 rating, playing a team of. Xerneas, Groudon, Tapakoko, Incineroar, Zatu, and Amoongus. Zatu, something you don't see too often, um, but an interesting pick. Uh, primarily going to be Tailwind, I imagine, from that Zatu. I'm presuming it gets it. Uh, and then you've got the Amoongus there as a trick room check, I guess, from the other side of things. And um, Bronzong going to be really good here, especially with Intimidate support and the Rain support um, from our side, especially because that Amoongus is the only thing that's kind of threatening it under trick room putting it to sleep so I will bring that core that's what we want to bring as our last one so we're going to lead off with Bronzong Incineroar Kyogre in the back and I think hmm, Dialga could be good it's uh, Amoongus of our own 
Uh, probably not going to be too useful. Dialga, let's go with Dialga. Yeah, because Dialga's just a beast, isn't it? So we're locked in. Ready to go. And hopefully my opponent doesn't take too much longer to decide their team. Zatu, though, it's kind of, uh, yeah, it's an interesting one. I'm sure it gets magic bounce. Is it magic bounce, I think? It's ability? Something like that. Something like that. I know it's similar to, uh, yeah, it's something like, I'm not too sure, but you can't you can't taunt it and things like that because it just bounces back. It's the one that Absol, um, Mega Absol has, I think. Is it Mega Absol? Or am I just confusing it with something else? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, we'll not be taunting it. Because we don't have taunt on our team or anything like that. So it's fine. Just generic trick room setup and try and blast through things. Which has been pretty difficult to do with just Kyogre recently. But um, hopefully we can pull out a win to end up today. Which would be very nice. We're seeing Groudon and Tapu Koko come up for my opponent. As we lead off with Bronzong and Incineroar. Now the Tapu Koko lead here indicates that that Tapu Koko probably has taunt. I would imagine. And I'm quite happy faking it out and trick rooming to get around that taunt, if I'm like completely honest with you. Um, yeah, I don't really care about, like, if we lose Incineroar, we lose Incineroar, we get Kyogre in. We've got skill swap, so we don't even care about having to reposition Kyogre, get it out, get it in again. It makes it so much easier. We just need to get this trick room up, and then we can totally smash. Smash things! Uh, Moongo's coming in, which I still don't mind, because the electric terrain's up. Bish, bash, bosh. Yeah, so that's fine. Um, and we can totally just keep Incineroar out here and, and Flare Blitz the Moongo's this next turn. Um, and Gyro Ball the Tapu Koko, I guess, which would be super nice. Because you can try and put Bronzo to sleep as much as you like, but it's not going to work. It's not going to work there, lad. You've got to imagine an Intimidated in the Sun Flare Blitz is going to be more than enough to take down a Moongus. It should be. Okay, Moongus going to switch straight back out. Not even wanting to entertain anything. I'm staying on the field and taking a Flare Blitz. Going to see the Incineroar come out. Mm, could have maybe played a little bit more. A little bit better. Uh, go for a U-turn here. I just see the Coco just protect. Alright. get some damage onto this Incineroar regardless anyway, so that's alright. It's alright, in it, in it, Gav. Okay. Um, I kind of want to, I want to, I want to U-turn out with a Incineroar. Um, I'm going to bring Dialga in. And I'm going to U-turn out onto the Incineroar. I don't know if we'll be able to U-turn out or not. But if we can, it would be so nice. Uh, but at the same time, the Tapu Koko could probably Volt Switch out as well. Which makes it, I'm so sorry. So sorry, it's been a long day. Um, which makes it a bit more difficult uh, for us to get weather control, especially with Bronzong now and not on the field. So we'll get the U-turn off. Maybe this lost Incineroar on the field, which is interesting. Um, hmm. I think we get... Oh, do we get Kyogre in? Let's just get Kyogre in. No. I think you Volt Switch out. Oh, do we get Kyogre in? I reckon they're doubling in on that, that Bronzong slot. So I think it's pretty safe for us to get Kyogre onto the field. But... Your opponent is always an unpredictable beast, so you can't really account for what you think would make sense, always being the thing that makes sense. We're going to see another U-turn from the Incineroar. It's going to get the Groudon back in. Mm. <sighs> okay. What's your Moongus? And a U-turn. Double U-turn. Huh. Now the Groudon comes in. I don't think it's a slow Groudon, so, um, yeah. I think we just protect with Kyogre. We get Bronzong in. 
Um, as long as we've got trick room turns left. I don't know if we have. We've been funny in round, so we've not got too many turns left. Okay, let's get bronze on there and protect Kyogre on this turn, and then we can skill swap water spout Ooh. on our last turn of trick room. And as long as we don't see um, a fire punch. Oh, I'm sorry. I need to stop yawning and drink some water. This is so bad. I've had the worst headache all day today, and it's just finally gone. Um, literally woke up with it this morning and had it all day, and it got really bad. Um, I'm not one for taking painkillers unless I really, really have to, like migraine level. And it didn't quite get there, but it was still pretty bad. It was really uh, disorientating all day. Um, but it's finally gone, but now it's gone. I'm really tired. I don't know. I don't know. I don't understand it. Um, Tabo Coco coming back in. For the Moongus. This doesn't help us out too much because we want the Tabo Coco to be forced out so we can uh, get that electric train back onto the field. Oh, it's the Tectonic Reach. I wonder if it's into Dialga. I'd feel pretty safe with the Kyogre out on the field right now. Um, yeah, okay. That was a nice switch from us. If I do not say so myself, so we'll uh, skill swap and we'll, um, we'll water spout. Yeah. But I don't know if you get this, guys, where you get, like, if you ever wake up in the morning. I think it's because I'm doing, like, a pure um, keto diet at the minute. And, like, some side effects of it are headaches to begin with until your body, like, really adjusts to getting into ketosis and tiredness as well. So, probably a combination of both. But um, I'm sorry that I'm um, doing it on camera when I'm recording. I'm just trying to squeeze in uh, matches when I can because it's, it's, quite, it's quite difficult sometimes to... Um, to always be able to to get this many episodes in like you know what I mean around everything else that I do as well like full-time job and stuff like that the basic grind of nine to five yeah but it's fine I enjoy doing this and I enjoy doing it for you guys we are gonna get the skill swap off get rid of the Groudon surprise <laughs> okay Groudon down uh, trick room gonna end and the electric train gonna disappear. This makes a moon just a lot more threatening for us now. We need Coco to go away, come back in and get that electric train up. I need a mask. I need a mask to just hide my awning. <laughs> okay, we can uh, we can get another trick room up for sure. I think what we could do here is probably just ally switch and um, water spout again pretty cheeky but we haven't revealed the ally switch yet and I don't think my opponent's predicting that and this could go way south way quickly for my opponent I mean if they target into the bronzong um, assuming that Kyogre protects then I mean okay so we just get the forfeit and uh, end up there so I think we would have been able to close that one out then but good game to my opponent and that is the end of today's episode guys so thank you so much for tuning in um, I really do hope you have enjoyed today's episode. It's been a lot of fun. Just realised I haven't even put the music on for today's episode, which is a big error on my part, but I'll put some nice overlay music on the whole episode, so we'll get some um, Colosseum music on. This is some of my favourite ones, anyway. So, uh, I hope you have a great evening. Look forward to reading the comments about today's episode, guys. Uh, what a great team we played earlier on, uh, Spring VGC. So that was amazing, and uh, we'll be back for more mischief tomorrow so mischief managed guys take care have a great night and until the next one i'll see you then so bye bye